Good evening, welcome to Geno TV 99. Dick Herman here, Dennis Cameron in the booth. We call today's game. John Stanton with the color. Scott Capizzo on camera here. And I'd like to mention all our fine sponsors who bring you this Island Cup game. Axe screen and window repair, at a glance window treatments, Brock Insurance, Cognitive Coleman Insurance, Cowboys Meat Market and Deli, David Goodman Tiling, Don Allen Auto Center, Downey Fight, Fairgrounds Restaurant, Harborview Oil Corporation, Hingham Savings Bank, Humphrey Electric, Inquire in Mirror, Island Carpets, Island Lumber, Island Pharmacy, Island Variety, Joe Rapaki CPA, Cam Appliance, Killen Real Estate, Lindsay Incorporated, Madigan Marine, Martin Bork Painting, Nantucket Airlines, Nantucket Booster Club, Nantucket Civic League, Nantucket Electric, Nantucket Insurance, Santos Rubbish Removal, The Sea Grill, Stova Engineering, and TA Nelson Construction. We thank all those fine sponsors for bringing you this Island Cup game. And that's the sun is shining here today. Beautiful day for football, Dick. And this is the only game we have to meet here tonight. Okay, you know, we have more fun. Yeah, the new format, John, huh? How do you like playing this week? The uh, playing the week late is it's uh, different than uh, I think the, the, the fans are responding. It is a good crowd. It was a good crowd for the JV game earlier. I like this. The uh, yeah, first ever Saturday after Thanksgiving Nantucket Vineyard game. First ever, right? And uh, Vineyard, I'm uh, not a big fan of them, but uh, they, they went with the. They, they try to actually change it mid-season back to the original day when they found out that neither Nantucket nor Vineyard was playing last Saturday, but. Uh, Chris Murray wouldn't budge. He says, no, it's, it's in so. It'll be interesting to see a year from now if the same situation arises where they'll try to make the switch. We see the co-captains out there. Who we got out in the field, Dennis? All right, for the vineyard, number 55, Andrew Jacobs Walsh. Number 44 is Kyle Stovey. Number 73, John O'Shaughnessy. And number 23, Joe Cherney. On the Nantucket side, John, we got uh, uh, number 55, Jonathan Holgate. Number 73, Blaze McWade. Number 10, Dylan O'Connor. And number 54, that would be uh, Jonathan Holgate. Can't tell who the last one is. Number 22, that would be... Number 22. Would be, uh, Hunter, Hunter, Hunter Gray, who's Hunter, back from an injury. Right, right. At, huh? a, at a broken uh, wrist or arm, and he looks like he's uh, got a little uh, cast on it, all taped up. It looks, it's uh, interesting. We are talking to the uh, coach uh, early this morning, and uh, he, he wasn't going to be cleared until about 10, 11 o'clock this morning. So I guess he could clear it. I, I, it's, it's, uh, it's a good sign. It, it, it's great for a kid like that. His, his the extra week paying off for him. He might have yeah. not been ready to play last week. An extra week of rest. And, you know, easy to get cleared when the team doctors your doctor. The <laughs> <laughs> Tucket uh, is taking the ball, Dennis. That's good. I, I, I think that... Uh, got a lot of win to deal with. win today, so I would do the same thing. Well, it should be a great game. It's a ver it should be an interesting, very interesting matchup. I'm going to make a prediction off the bat. It's going to be a tough to break the uh, 12-year curse today. The curse, the 12-year curse, and after last year's uh, last second win, last second loss, last second win by the Vineyard, it will be uh, terrific to see the whale of uh, it was very discouraging. It was very discouraging last year. We were in the stands over there, and when they took it, had the 20, uh, 26 to 12 lead, or 14 lead, whatever it was. Six minutes left in the stands. The Vineyard fans are uh, throwing it in, saying, you know, turn around us, and you guys are going to finally do it. And, you know, I looked at the clock, and I just didn't buy into it Ladies because the Nantucket does not have the kind of anthem, offense where they can grind out a game. Your Their hats. offense leaves the ball wide open, and they, they turned time, it over, and the Vineyard took advantage of it. The Nantucket of Public going. Schools okay. and the Nantucket Athletic Department asked that you join us as we have, and have we a moment, moment of silence. to recognize the passing of a former Nantucket High School Jack teacher, Pignato. Jack Pignato. As a math and science teacher for 36, 36 years, years, the, the man the referred to his students as a staff, as Mr. P, touched the lives and the hearts of the man. Jack had a passion for teaching, his love of vocation was unmatched. Mr. P cared deeply for his school and most especially about his students. He took personal, he took interest, personal interest in, lives, in the lives of each and every each student, and every that, he student that he knew. Jack leaves behind, behind an extended, extended family of students, students faculty, faculty, friends, community, community members, whose lives have been strengthened and enriched through his presence in their lives. 
friends and family friends always family remember Jack was a huge fan of all sports. There was seldom a wielding sporting there event where Jack, Jack, Jack was not in attendance. Jack was a simple man with good values, a good sense of humor, and a caring nature that in many ways touched us all. Jack is survived by his wife of 42 years, Peggy Pignato, his sons Jim and Stephen Pignato, his daughter-in-law Kim Pignato, and his grandson Chase Vincent Pignato. We extend our deepest sympathies to all of Jack's family. At this time, we ask you to join us in a moment of silence for our dearly departed friend. Join us in a moment of silence in honor of our departed friend. very much, ladies and gentlemen. And well, now, a great tribute to a great guy. Tuck you know, said he touched all George our Ava. lives. Dennis, a good friend of ours. With our national anthem. Taught your kids. Right. Taught my kids, John. Yep. Taught your kids. Yep. Taught our cameraman here. Taught my Scott. wife, I believe. Taught, taught, taught our cameraman very well. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he taught your wife to put up with you. <laughs> His wife, your wife, to put up with you. <laughs> right. Kickoff uh, brought to us by Don Allen Ford coming up. Nantucket's going to receive there, guys. What do, you, what do you think of that? Well, I think it's a good idea to get the offense started right away. There's no, uh, really no wind today. Um, there was a little wind this, earlier this morning, but it seems to have died down. We see the, uh, the big American flag hanging off of the fire truck ladder. That's moving pretty good, going from our right to our left. So there might be some, some wind, you think, uh, Dennis? Just a little bit. I don't think it's going to affect the passing game. Uh, that much, and uh, you know, it's one of the better days we've, we've had for busy football. And it's always good. Years. It's always good to put some points on the board right away if you can in this game. Yeah, it's true. All right, here we go. But this is probably one of the smaller Virginia teams that I've seen over the past few years. But they play in tough, tough competition. So. Uh, it's really hard to judge how this game is going to go, but I, I think today the, the Wales are going to do it. My bold prediction. Here you go, a bold prediction. Standing in this booth, that's not so bold. But. All right. Okay, back to receive for Nantucket. Vaughn Phillips, number 10. Back deep for Nantucket, we have 23, Keenan Phillips, number 10, Dylan O'Connor, number 27, Corbon Phillips. Keenan uh, had a, came up from the varsity after the three touchdown game he had for the JVs as a freshman. Yeah. And as often happens, as you know, you have a guy and he's playing well for you and you're coaching the JVs and all of a sudden one day he's gone. I know. Up to the varsity. I know how that is. <laughs> But you know, it allowed a lot of the JV kids to get more playing time. That'll come out in a couple of years. It'll be good for this uh, for this varsity. Yeah. He's back deep, so maybe we'll get a chance to see what he can do right away. You know, one of the things in today's game, too, that is the weapon that we really have is the potential for field goal. So let's see if that factors into the game today. Well, here we go. Great atmosphere. Balls in the air. Ron Phillips drops it. And he 
he's going to get hit. Ball picked up by Phillips. And he goes down about the first short game. 38 One of the things both these teams share is the gang tackling mentality. A lot of a suit and a lot of several several guys in on every tackle. pretty much in the whale of backfield that time. Yeah, they smelled that one on a big time. No gain on the play, maybe a little hockey out of there. So we got a second down, and we'll call it 10 and a half for the first down. Andrew Ray, the nine, quarterback, sophomore, and he's, he's played really well. And Ray is going to have to have Again, more pressure from that vineyard front four. Showing some of his uh, flash. The ball came loose for away from the official. Who's down? Oh, I think the Vineyard has it. The Vineyard's got it. So a good, potentially big game. He's got a couple of good blocks over that side and, and really and really turned up the jets going on the sidelines. It looks like they had an unbalanced line to the right. And then they threw the ball back to the left. Turnover there brought to us by Albert G. Brock Insurance. Wants to wish each and every student the best school year. Here to provide your insurance. Well, guys, the uh, turnover acts as a punt, really. You know, if they don't, if the pass is incomplete, they punt the ball, Dennis, John. They probably get the ball back in about the same area. Okay, That's optimistic speech. That's optimistic. Balls on the 31 yard line. I think that one spoken as only a former whale of football coach could, could see that one. Yeah, good job by the whales. Hold off from the 23, Joe Turney. Joe Turney gets the ball. Well, and Jake Perlum, a 52. Very nice wrap. To, I love to see a tackle like that. Does it wrap a runner up with your arms and not just try to not just try to hit him, but actually try to take him down. So that goes for a gain of about one yard. The second down and nine for the video. And the coach is number 23 goes the other way. Catch it up. Catch it up. Boy, he could go all the way on this, and he does. Jacob Cardoza. 60 yard run, he turned it up at around the 40, and just as soon as he made that corner, Dennis, he made, had no, uh, he had no no worries. As soon as he turned around that corner, he had just green grass between him and the goal line. And here's the old swinging gate. Long, long afternoon, I was trying to figure that one out. Number 18, the uh, kicker is not on, a, not on our program. Let's hit the ball. By number 11, Jack on camp. Jack on camp and on the block. Extra point, Tennessee. 
Okay, not to start, near Tucker Warner there, down six to nothing here with 7.39 and go. Having a big play of their own, then losing a big play. Uh, up and coming kick up brought to us by Nantucket Island Pharmacies. We've got recovered in town and out of town. Nantucket Island Pharmacies, 45 Main Street, 122 Pleasant Street. Both pharmacies offer you prescriptions, nutritions, beauty products. Island Variety, check out Island Variety. For all your gifts, party favors, craft items, cards, photo albums, right. Island Variety does it all. Well, not, as I said, not what the Whalers wanted, John. No, no. A fumble to negate a big play of their own and then falling victim to a big play from the vineyard. Almost the same kind of a running play. It was. They went the other way. All right, let's see what the Whalers do. The Whalers need to come back now, right here, right now. You really have to hold. You have to you have to get. A, you have to hold the edge of that of that uh, of that offense when you're. When you have to have a defensive player who just holds the edge and holds the sets an edge near the sideline and moves that play to the inside where a tackle can be made. Number 18 is a kicker. We don't have a number on that program. He gets off a pretty good kick. Phillips covers the ball again. And he is out. He's tackled before he can get to the wall. Yeah, he had a pretty good wall on that side. Number 28 for the Vineyard came in and made a nice shoestring tackle on that. Well, the wheels are going to over about the 21 yard line. That's what happened when you have a freshman. He's a little bit nervous here in the big game. Hopefully, he gets it out of his system because he can't produce if he gets going. Well, I've never seen him play, but everyone says he's an actual phenom. Okay, Andrew Way calling singles. And the ball goes to. Dylan O'Connor, and Dylan stays in his feet. Dylan's had a great year for the, for the Whalers this year. Hand off to Dylan O'Connor, stop by number 73, John O'Shaughnessy. And he's gonna pick up about seven or eight on the play. Gain of about six on the play, it's gonna bring up second down and four to go. Could be a, a throwing down. Could be a pass. They have uh, Counton Ruby out to the out to the slot. Dylan O'Connor and the ball is knocked away. It's awesome. Underthrown, but number 23 for the Vineyard had a bead on that. That an interception there after that fumble, we would have not been a good feeling for the uh, Whalers. That play did not fool the Vineyard. No, yeah. they, they, they were waiting for it. Okay, we got a third down and about four. And we got motion right. And it's going to be a run. Andrew Ray got the first down. Quarterback keeper by Andrew Ray. Good job by Ray, knowing where the flag was. He got that first down, tried to turn it into the middle of the field. Andrew Ray has gotten progressively better each week. As, as he's played a Boston schedule. Only a sophomore? Only a sophomore. First and ten, Whalers. Okay, here we go. And it's going to be a quick pass on the side. Mickey Sorok. Pass completely low signing. Low signing. On short gain, that brought down by pass, and a gain of about several Virginia tackles, two yards. Second down, eight to go. Not exactly a pretty play. No, but kind of like one of those Patriot passing plays that end up in two yards. But um, almost a lateral. I mean, it yeah, could be a free ball if it's not caught. Quayle is uh, wanting to get a little drive going here. Start to get get control of this game. Another fumble, and I think this is Vineyard ball as well. I didn't see a fumble. Andrew Ray on a keeper. 
He got hit. He was running up high, standing up high when he's running. It is it's Vinian Ball. Not a good sign. No, just what we said in the uh, pregame. You, you got to play a mistake-free football, and Nantucket's already made more mistakes than they want to make. Fortunately, today's game brought to by Nantucket Airlines. Call now for reservations: two two eight six two three four. Well, that does not bode well. 5.33 uh, into this game. Uh, 5.33 left into this, into this uh, first and quarter. They're, they're knocking on the door in Whalen County. And they're going to corrupt the middle and hand all this week. Number 27, 27 Ben, ben Clark. Ben stayed on his feet. Yeah, picked gotta, up a couple extra yards. He's got to wrap people up in the middle. Can't let a guy keep like that keep driving his legs. Okay, we got second down and about eight. Brings up second down and eight to go. Yeah, we got a little bit of motion. Huh? Okay, one play. Journey carried the ball. Yeah, Vaughn Von Campen made the tackle. Could be a holding flag. Well, it's against the attacker. Face mask. Face mask. Personal face file of some personal sort. Personal foul. Face mask. Looks like a face mask. Yeah. It's going to bring it. We have a pair. 15 yards down. Oh, wait, maybe offsetting. One I marked is hit. Oh, offsetting. Offsetting penalty is gone. So that's a break from the break. That's the first bit of a uh, bit of good luck for the. Uh, going to bring up third down and three to go. For the Whalers, a little banging uh, and grabbing as they, uh, this one gets going. All right, well, they're definitely in two down yardage. So they, they won't be punting if they don't make it. Yeah. And they're going to go with their tight formation. And they're going to take them up the middle. And probably a first and a carry up the middle. We got 75, Taylor Gully on the stop. What we got? Ben Clark. Fourth down and brings up fourth down and short for your Nantucket defense. Fourth and less than a yard, yeah. Now Vineyard using that little rugby scrum tight tight uh, offense they do. I know. Tough to times. tough to stop if they want a yard. Uh -huh. Sideline looks kind of slippery over there. Well, he didn't get the first down. That was uh, Cardoza, Jacob Cardoza for the Vineyard. Slipped as he went around and tried to turn the corner. Portion of this first quarter brought to us by Matic Marine, proud sponsor of Will the Sports. Yeah, we did get a lot of rain the other day, then we got a little chill the last couple of nights. So a little, maybe a little ice, ice in this, and now, now it's melting. Staff, it seems to delay on the refs. Well, there's something to do with the chains. Play does result in the first down for Marcus Vinyard. They, they can extend at any, at any moment and they'll come back in. It's like those kids towards me, pull them on and they snap back in. 
Anybody got motion? And the ball goes right up the middle. Number 27, Ben Clark. Number 17, Jack Clayton. Brings up second down and seven to go. There's a gain of about two and a half, three yards. Second down and seven. And the pass to number 22. Cardoza seems to be their go-to guy on that little uh, that little inside handoff there. Wills, Wills have not shown an inclination to stop that play. Aloisi and Johnson hold it on the stop. All right, we got a third, third down. Third down and five to go. Third and five. Vince has not thrown a pass yet. Well, they haven't had the need to either. That's true. Is there, uh, second and five here? Third and five. Third and five. This you, could be a good play time remember, to throw. Remember that from last year, Dennis. They did the same thing. They lulled us into the first pass of the game. Had Nantucket right. dead, dead for it because they were really expecting it. Again to Cardoza, and again, fumble. fumble. Ah, Vineyard got it. Cardoza is uh, is finding a running easy going for the first five yards over there. Every time he turns the corner, he gets he gets his crack at three or four or five yards. Dylan O'Connor made the stop and pulled the ball out. Nice defensive play. Cardoza, Cardoza just fell right on her. Von Campen on the stop. So we got a first down and ten. The ball rests on about the. 18 yard line. Nice job, Cole. Cutting just thrown out of bounds. That begins. Hand on the first down. Run out of bounds by Holgate and Jake Pearl, 52. First and goal here for the Vineyard with 1.15 to go. Neoteca really needs to get a break here somewhere. And now the will is take a, uh, a timeout on the field. It's timeout so everyone can get their 50-50 tickets up there in the booth. Rob's not running. You still yeah, right here, if any of us win, we'll give you a cut if you run and get it. <laughs> Because if any of us try, we'll have a heart attack in the middle of the field. <laughs> no, no, speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm still quick. <laughs> <laughs> quick for a few feet. No, <laughs> oh, no. Well, if he wins, we'll go double or nothing with him. See if he gets across the field. <laughs> <race. laughs> yeah. we'll give Robbie a head start. <laughs> I can still beat him. <laughs> I, I still remember the time you ran across there. I really thought we had to get the EMTs. <laughs> I, I found out how much you were going to charge me, so <laughs> I said, I'm getting out of the booth now with the Golden's good. <laughs> All right, the ball rests on the five yard line. Vineyard has had not too many problems moving the ball, John. Depp. No, the Whaler defense has been. Uh, has been an elastic bandit. You know, they, they give up those five yards, put him make a tackle almost every play. And the back to number 20 handoff, uh, Joe Johnny Hurdy, and he gets to about the three yard line. Stop. You know, in a running game like this, where they're taking up, picking up yards, if you've got to tackle people and put them on their back rather than tackling people and let them go a few more yards. They haven't done much running up the middle. They either just run, run the way up the middle. And outside again. Cuts it. Cardoza. Boy, Cardoza again, their go to guy, and he just cut that. He was, made a smart move. He just saw when it was time to cut that up the middle. 
and left the Whalers, who are in pursuit going that way, just flat-footed. So, all important extra points here. We'll see if they're going to go for two. Point after attempt to follow. And I do not see the swinging gate, so they may be going for two. Somebody you'll have to explain what the whole point is of the swinging gate. That's what I always try to figure out, what the well. point was. Going to Cardoza there, uh, and he gets into the end zone without being touched. That same play, that inside handoff around, around the end, to the right uh, right side. So the uh, video is 38 seconds left in the first quarter. With 38 seconds left in the first period. Safe to say that the first period has been all Masters video. Portion this first period brought to us by the uh, fairgrounds. There's nothing better than wings, beverage, and football at the fairgrounds. Check out Saturday's uh, college games, Sunday's pro games, the fairgrounds lunch dinner. Takeout specials always available at the fairgrounds. Seagro, where all the locals go for great fish and excellent seafood. Seagro, and as we mentioned earlier in the game, uh, our good friend in uh, Nantucket High School, supporter of sports, Jack Pignato, uh, was uh, buried today. And uh, we had a nice little function over at the Seagro afterwards, and they, they did a great job, Dennis, as, as they always do for functions like that. Absolutely, no doubt about it. It was a wonderful uh, uh, time. And, uh, we're going to miss our friend Jack Kadar. Kickoff coming up brought to us by Santos Rubbish Removal. We clean up the islands. Go Whalers. And I, and I try to say it, but I get myself in trouble. Kick trash, Santos says. Kick trash. Did I say it right? What, what would get you in trouble by that? All right. Well, the video is uh, going to kick off now. Whalers hope to uh, 38 seconds left. Would dearly love to put a... Uh, Put something on the board, get something going. Ball goes to Brian to pass. All right, Brian. Brian. Pass on a run back. And he's tackled. Gets a nice run back. Out to the 42 yard line. Out to the 42 yard line with Wheelers. First, first, first and 10. Willis definitely need a drive here. They got to turn in some momentum. They got to get a drive and nice if they can get some points at the end of it too. First time we see Brian the pass back there this year. Dan. You're right. That, that, that maybe maybe Brian wants to come alive here in his, his final game in his career. All right, Sonny with the ball tries to pop to the outside. Oh, the minion. That's how you set the flag. Yeah, that's how you set. That's how you set the edge, though. We were talking about that before. Did a good job setting that edge. John O'Shaughnessy, uh, the face mask. That's going to be a 50-50 yard. Don Herman from way down in the end zone is disputing that call. It's right in front of us. Sorry, Don. <laughs> Although he, he pushed enough and finally he said good call. <laughs> he knows exactly how far to push referees. Offensive face mask. The old days when Vito Capiz would run out to, to, to midfield to make his point. Talking about going on the field, how about the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers coach the other night? Did anybody see that play? When the white zone? Yeah, he, he went out in the field, he had his foot in the white zone, and then as the runner's going by, a guy's running back a kickoff, he puts his foot on the field. I think he may get a game suspension. I'm going to keep my eyes on that and see how they punish him. What about the basketball coach for the uh, Brooklyn? Yeah, he wanted to get involved in the game. Well, he only that's was a player last year. He's playing. So. That's right. Now, now, John, I see why Don Herman said nice call. He's called against the Whalers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why. that's why. He said it was a nice All call. All right. All right. So uh, first and twenty-five. So, there. so to his way of thinking, it was a nice call. It was a nice call. <laughs> All right, first and twenty-five. Not a good situation to be in. Dylan O'Connor with a carry. Dylan is stacked up by number 26. Tony for short game. You run high like that, you run standing up like that, you are you are, are, are leaving yourself open to be tackled that way. Face mask right in your right, right in your numbers and driven backwards. That was a that was a textbook tackle by Dominion, and I believe the first the first period's over. We have a timeout on the field. All right, this period brought to you by the Inquirer and Mirror newspaper. 
all your news and entertainment and sports needs. And I think you can still check out their website at www.ac.net and uh, see the, go into the galleries, the photo galleries, order a picture, and they will print it out and send it to you. Uh, and in Nantucket today, the island's newest, most exciting, full-color magazine. It is really the local magazine. There are other magazines, but that's one that's the local one. And uh, inquire and mirror. Thank you, John. Also, portions of this game brought to us by Jova Pack, a small firm, big difference, helping self-employed people on Nantucket with their taxes for over 15 years. Give Joe a call, 228-9090. Island Lumber. One purpose will go well as rain or shine. Island Lumber is always on time. Visit a network TV. That's what we are, Channel 99. Check it on your dial at Channel 99. Visit network TV. Or you can go on the Internet anytime and uh, catch this game, genotv.com. This is the Island Cup game 2013. Dick Herman here, John Stanton, Scott Capizel, Dennis Karen, bringing all the action to you. Our friend and station owner, Gino Gang, uh, in the Philippines, in the middle of this storm. He survived, though. He's, he's, he's moving around someplace. I don't he, know always, he's, he always survived. I don't know if he's still in the Philippines or he's moving. But, uh, I saw a picture of him getting his head, head shaved while the, while the storm was going on. So Gino always knows how to stay out of trouble. Okay. Nice pass up the middle. Oh, oh. Beautiful. He's made a great catch. Going to bring up third down. Looks like a little screen action here, I guess. John, if you're in a country mile, you, you need something. Yeah, you, a screen's not a bad idea. You just don't have plays like this in your playbook. you got to catch a break. So far, Nantucket has not caught a break, but they've uh, caused too many uh, turnovers. Thus, they're losing with 14 points after the turnovers for the venue. And looking, looking, looking. Not fast. Caught Ruby. Really is just taken down. Yeah, fourth down, they're going to have to punt. Fourth and about twelve. A nice play, though. We haven't seen uh, we haven't seen uh, number eight. Well, when you get yourself when you get yourself behind like this, and you might have to go to this offense, especially if Vinny Devers scores another one. They, they won't be able to go any safe because they got to go for wide open stuff. Colton Robinson back to punt. Deshaun James snap low. And gets off a nice punt. And it's going to roll out of bounds. Well, that was a nice punt. Took an Nantucket bounce, but boy, it almost got blocked. And that would have been uh, bad news. Ball rolled out at about the 30. If you'd like to be a sponsor on Wheel of Sports TV here on Geno 99, give him a call, 508-825-8817. He's still taking phone calls even though he's in the Philippines. Get your ad mentioned during games and also get your phone number and logo out there 24 hours a day in the top right corner. Price as low as 15 per week. You can feel good knowing you're helping bring Wheel of Sports to TV online and now streaming live on Geno 99. To join our sponsor list, 825-8817. Jake Pearl on the tackle. Jake has been all over the field so far. Nice, uh, nice, nice gang tackle. Nice uh, couple of whalers in on that tackle. Yep. Here we go. Whale Second about nine. Whale well, defense maybe starting to get the rhythm of this uh, vineyard uh, offense. Yeah, I mean they haven't gone up the middle. They've I'm interested to see if they're going to run up the middle at all. And first pass. Ron Campen makes a good charge on it. Wow, and, that, and that's not, that's not, that's not, uh, that's not throwing the ball away, why? No, I, 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 I don't know. It looks like intentional grounding. It's like to intentional grounding to me. Not, not a vineyard player on the field near where he threw it. And I he, didn't see any receiver. Already. He dropped straight back. There was no, uh, there was no outside the pocket, inside the pocket thing. So we got third down and about nine. The windows are loading up. We have nine in the box. 
Good job. Nice job. Nice tackle. Number 74, Michael Lunton on the tackle. Change of perception here as uh, the Vineyard have to punt for the first time today. So Nantucket's first stop. This punt coming up brought to us by Maddock and Marine. Go Will is boats, motors, accessories, storage, and service. Maddock and Marine. Check them out online. MaddockandMarine.com. Back deep. Johnson, set the punt. No punt. Goes right to Phillips. Looking to go somewhere. He didn't know what to do. He's right behind his blocker. And it's good to stay behind your blocker unless the unless three times more of the defenders come down. That's the bad news. The good news is we got a great field yard line. It's going to be on their 47 yard line. Seven minutes and 13 seconds left to go in the half. And. Uh, Whaler offense really hasn't gotten uh, gotten unhinged at all, untracked at all. Uh, yeah, right now. Right now, Scott Cabezo says it's going to be right now. Bring up second down. on the We don't have his number. I'm looking at the same Rossi I'm looking at, so yes. Aaron Lowe. There you go. He's a tough runner. Boy, I'll say he uh, he got hit he got hit hard uh, by a vineyard defender, and he shook it off, and he uh, got an extra got back to the line of scrimmage anyways, and got an extra couple of yards. He's built the, low to the ground, and, and he's very very strong. Right, now he's going to be in the slot. It's going to be third down and about six. Looks like a passing down. Ray sprints out to right, throws the ball deep. Sonny, oh! Overthrown. Boy, he was wide open. He was wide open. Found a little spot in that defense. There was nobody standing around. Now a little jarring going on between him and number 26 in a vineyard. Let's play football. We don't need any penalties. You gotta hit that if you wanna stay in this game. I mean, they had the will rule going there, Sonny's yeah. wide open the side, and nobody near him. Easy first down and maybe more. Hey, Andrew could have run that football too. Robinson back to punt. Okay, Willis is gonna punt. Spencer Schofield to Sean Gaines. And we got a whistle. Right in the play. Legal procedure on Nantucket. On Nantucket. Nothing's gone right for the Wheelers so far this afternoon. No, no, you have to execute though or nothing will go right for you. As we learned the other night in the Patriots game, the only way you can have a great comeback is to get way behind. So. <laughs> <laughs> We're setting it up. How was that? I know that, I know that. Do you yeah. remember the hundreds of thousands that left at halftime? No, we were in a, uh, <laughs> we were inside. I would have left if we weren't inside. Oh, there. nice kick. Robinson Beauty. Gets Beautiful punt. punt. And that's going to roll all the way back. And they're going to mark it. No, I think he waited too long. They're going to mark it at about the one foot line. Uh, excellent, they got it. Boy, from my angle, it didn't look like it went into the end zone before he touched it. Beautiful. It didn't, it didn't go into the end zone, but if you had instant replay, that might be overturned because I think his back foot was in the end zone. Let's see if the officials got together and decide that. His back foot for the wheel is, yeah, his back foot was in the end zone. I saw it. Shall, shall we call the officials on and say you saw it yet? Does the Geno TV's got that five camera instant replay? Oh no, the wheels are going to get the ball uh, where they want it, right on the one foot line there. Here's, here's the turnover. Turnover now changes all the flow of this game. Absolutely, uh, no doubt about it. It was a beautiful punt. 
Absolutely. Colton Robinson. A good punter can keep you in games. All right, let's see. We got a timeout on the field by Nantucket. Timeout on the field, Nantucket. Okay, we have a timeout on the field here with 5.41 to go. Critical part of the game. Nantucket needs a stop. Potion to this game brought to us by Harbor Few Oil Corporation. Over 40 years of dependable service. Peace of mind. Harbor Few. Seagrill. Nantucket's distinctive seafood restaurants for all season. The freshest seafood prepared your way at the Seagrill, serving dinner nightly, lunch Monday to Saturday. Congen and Coleman Insurance, specializing in a personal commercial lines of insurance, auto, home, marine business. Congen and Coleman established 1931. They're down at 57 Main Street. Island Variety, your source for school supplies, party supplies. If Island Variety doesn't have it, you don't need it. Island Variety. Booster Club, Booster Club feeds all the teams. After this game, the Booster Club will be cooking over there in their grill. They're cooking like crazy now for this car, but they'll cook a little bit extra after the game for the, uh, for the vineyard team. And Booster Club does that uh, year round feeding all the visiting teams, plus supporting all sports with uh, financial considerations. The Booster Club meets Tuesday nights, 7 o'clock, room 20 CPS. Okay, first and 10. The wheelers need to stop right here to the safety. And up the middle, the scrum. Okay, and yeah, he's gonna get up to about the four yard line. Did he stay in his feet there? Wait for spot. It's a big spot. I don't know what happened to that, but I'm dumbfounded. He must have stayed on his feet. I don't, I don't know how anybody sure. can tell. Second yeah, down. At one point when you start moving forward, wasn't the play stop? Well, if they blow it then, yeah. I mean, I thought that was a long time ago. Official timeout for a measurement. Wow. And if it didn't, here's my question. If, if they don't blow it dead, and the kid stumbles because nobody touching him, no, he can't get up. Why didn't he get up? Why not? If he didn't blow it dead, it was still a play goal. Which knee is down? I squeezed it down. If, if he doesn't... By no, by no, by nobody. If he doesn't, yeah, if he okay. doesn't stumble there, that's a 99-yard touchdown. Yeah. So, we have a first down in 10 for the venue. First and 10, the ball's spotted on the... With a 10 yard line of Martha's Vineyard and another scrum. And this time it goes for about three yards. There you go, that's what you have to do. You got to push them backwards until they fall over. You know what? Not only that, you got to get down and grab the feet. You can't tackle up high. You got to get down low. Bring up second down. The attack alignment needs to get down to submarine. That's low. And it's a hard thing to do. I mean, this is sort of a traditional vineyard yeah. set, isn't it? Yeah. This is very difficult to stop. Very, very difficult. And they run, they run their whole offense out of that formation. Yeah. Okay. Second down and eight. And they go back to the regular offense. Joe Turney, and we have an injury on the field. Joe Turney, trying to pass down for the wheels. Turney's a hard runner, boy. He runs, uh, comes, hits that hole fast, and he, and, he, and, he, and he he runs in a sort of nice, sort of controlled violence kind of way. And the vineyard is out out of the hole for sure. The ball's on about the 27 yard line. We have an injury timeout on the field. Timeout on the field brought to us by Nantucket's Family Restaurant Sports Bar, the fairgrounds, relaxed setting, comfortable, affordable food, pub, dinner, kids' specials, pizza, daily specials, takeout, early birds, fairgrounds, does it all, 27 Fairgrounds Road. Now, no waiting for your prescription refills. Phone ahead with your prescription refill numbers, 228 6416 Island Pharmacy will have your auto waiting for you when you arrive. Island Pharmacy, nobody 
does it better. Going uh, off island, Nantucket Airlines. We're all about the islands. Here to Hyannis, here to New Bedford, here to Boston. Give them a call, 228-6234. Cowboys uh, open up for uh, Thanksgiving week, closing down. If you missed the uh, turkey from Cowboys, get on the list for next year. You can't beat Thanksgiving turkeys from Cowboys. Madica Marine, Yamaha Seals and Service Storing Facilities, proud sponsor of Willis Sports. Okay, Brian the pass walks slowly to the sideline. That's a big loss for the wheels if you can't come back. All right, you got first down and 10. Ball on the 27 yard line. And where they gonna go with it? Run an inside trap that time. Number 27, Ben Clark on the carry. Ben Clark. And they gained about eight yards on the play. Oh, Whaler defense needs to. Uh, Whaler defense needs to uh, be a little more strong up front because uh, they're starting to get. You don't want to get to the point where you're starting to get pushed around, and then you accept the fact that you're getting pushed around. Right, exactly. And we got motion again. Turney on the outside. Turns the corner and gets knocked out of bounds. After a significant game. Yeah, Run a game of about 20. Legal He'll be on a Leibowitz. Uh, we'll take the ball up to inside uh, inside Nantucket territory to the 45. And I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand why, why we can't stop that. Play. Well, I don't know. Right now, the Vineyard is pretty much unchallenged in their running game. They may never throw a pass, because why, why would they? Back. Same inside here enough this way. Whalers did a good job stopping that one. Got a little penetration. Maybe that makes all the difference. Oh, absolutely. Jake flag on the play. And we got the flag, I believe, being thrown. And probably an unsportsmanlike penalty. We're talking to the venue. I think this is going against the vineyard. Good ball foul. Personal foul on the foul. foul. I think they're, I think they're talking. Yeah, you gotta stay, you gotta you gotta keep your uh, you gotta stay calm, you gotta keep uh, you gotta keep your head in the game here. I mean the vineyards right now running doing whatever they want on offense. They don't wanna blow it by uh, that's for a stupid West reason. Ball. That's a good penalty too because not only did Nantucket uh, get the down, they get the yardage too because it's a dead ball foul. So that meant Cardozo was melting off after he went down. Dick, did you buy a 50-50 I bought some 50-50 tickets, yes. And, and Rob was staying right next to me. He's my run. I'm not going to let him out of the booth. He's a negotiator. He's my negotiator run. All right, here we go. Second and 25. And up the middle goes. Nice job by the wheel. One play in the middle. Furrows in an tackle for the impact. Now that's the kind of de that's the kind of tackling up front the Whalers need to do. What was the difference between that and the uh, and what we've been saying there, Dennis? Well, they, they got penetration that time. Twenty to go. Okay, third and twenty. You got you got a third and twenty play in your uh, playbook, Joe? Sure, right up the uh, right up the middle. Find a big hole. Block and run. <laughs> well, they're going to have a they're going to receive a split to the far side, so we'll see. One in motion. They do that inside nice handoff job. again. Nice, nice job. By oh, nice Jonathan Holgate. Jonathan Holgate took on the blocker and, and knocked him backwards and made the tackle. That was a. Uh, I hope I hope that he I hope that he sends in for the clip on Gino TV because that was a uh, that was one to put in your memory book. Weren't we just talking about that too? Time out on the field. 
They got it there, and then Tucker wisely uses the timeout, so uh, they're going to get the ball back here after the punt. There's 123 showing here now. They'll get the uh, punt, and hopefully they get some decent field position. They're going to run a few plays. Happy hour at the Seagro. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights from uh, 9 to 10. 9 at the bar. Great deal. 9 o'clock, the entire bar menu at the Seagro. 45 sparks out. Only problem at nine o'clock. I'm, uh, I got my pajamas on. So, John, if, if you, You're if you, if you, if you, uh, if you go pick up some stuff at the happy hour, just drop it by my house. Almost a block. I, uh, was. I miss the days when happy hour meant cheap drinks, not food. <laughs> Several times. <laughs> Get this feet shook off the first one, and then I think he. Are oh, they going to give him a spot? 15 left in the half. Isaac, uh, in the 24, Isaac Higgins on the path for the vineyard. Okay. We almost have good field position. On the, wait a minute. On the 44 yard line. Well, we're going to see some passes here. you got to get something together here. Minute 13 left to go. And back to pass. O'Connor on the catch. That's about seven yards. Nice. Nice, though. I like seeing him get a little rhythm like that. Second down. They didn't make try to go for it all. That's no, make right. a few short passes in a row. The only problem is clock still running. The wheels need to take a time out. And again, trying to pass. Carlton Ruby. Carlton Ruby sent a ran her home way. No game. You always want to go forward. Was met by number 55, Andrew Jacob Walsh. He was met pretty, pretty, pretty definitively as well. So we got third down and about five. Back to pass. And oh. Wrong. Again, O'Connor wide open over there. Over in the flat, that would have been a first down, and he was pretty wide open. Fourth down. What do you do? You punt it? I'll take another shot downfield. 21 seconds left, you might as well go for it. Take one more shot. They're gonna. You gotta go down at least the first down yardage, though. You can't throw under, you gotta throw over. You're gonna go roll out to the right. And he's going to go down. Oh. Incomplete. Off of Carlton Ruby. Pass incomplete. He's going to put Carlton Ruby. And the wheel of the uh, Vineyard is going to take over on down. Vineyard. Take over on down for 14 seconds left. Has Vineyard thrown a pass yet, John? One. 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 And they, they may try another one here with 14 seconds. Yeah. Boy, the whale of passing game is having a difficulty getting going. Well, it's a cold day out there. Here it is cold. Going. That was right in his hands, though. It left uh, it left it left the quarterback's hand a little uh, a little strange, but still. Yeah, it wasn't really a, a no. It wasn't a tight spiral or anything. No. Okay, here we go. First down and ten. Then he takes over on a, about the fifty-yard line. Look like they just put the knee down. Yeah, it looks like that's what they're going to do. And that was gonna and after one half of uh, football here, it has been all vineyard, wouldn't you say? I would say it has. It is uh, to go off to, into the locker room, 14 to zip, and a whale is going to try to make some adjustments and hopefully come back and uh, get a little momentum going on their offense. Absolutely.